Because my food, I must have been hungry, girl. Them fries, they wasn't like all, all that. But they were okay. You know, they were okay. But will I order that again from Tops? No, I wouldn't. Something else. But you won't ever try anything that's better than God. There, there's nothing on the market. They may sell this drink in some more type of stores. I don't know. But I'm trying to pronounce it correctly. I think it's called Jorito. Joritos. Joritos. Because the J is silent. Joritos. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. I'm so tired. I am so tired. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm up early, y'all. I think it's about 7.20 right now. I'm trying to do a, like, full get ready with me. Like, I literally just got out of bed, y'all. Set up the camera and stuff, y'all. I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth and stuff. Ooh, girl, I got to wake up. Mm. I got to wake up, y'all. Mm. Child. Are y'all going to church this morning? Are y'all? It's a toothpaste that I use. It looks like it's gonna rain outside though, y'all. To be honest with y'all, I hope it don't because I don't want to be in it this morning. But you know, it's okay. so much better and refreshed hopefully cleaning my face kind of wake me up just a little bit all right let me 
get myself together. I know y'all missed me on last Sunday. I know y'all missed me. Yes, y'all did. But today, your girl is up and about to get ready to do her makeup right quick, y'all. Where is my, um, uh... yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup, throw these clothes on, y'all. Let me see what time it is. It's just 7.38. Time be rolling, y'all. It be rolling. I did get up a little early, though, so I could, you know, try to clean my face and brush my teeth almost like a full get ready with me video normally i'll just come on here and i'll be already sitting here i've been already wash my face brush my teeth and stuff but i wanted to go ahead and do that little that little part for y'all this morning hmm this lotion be having all this stuff. I'm gonna put some of this Vaseline lotion on my brows. Just a little bit in my eyes. I don't want to put it all over my face because I'm gonna put my primer on my face anyway when I do my uh my foundation and whatnot. Can y'all see me real good? Let me try to turn y'all just a little bit. I may need to turn my rain light on because it's kind of gloomy. So we ain't got no sun today. Oh, that may be too bright. Wait a minute, y'all. Is that too bright for y'all? Child, listen, I don't know. I do not know. I feel like my face is kind of like I don't know, y'all. I feel like it's breaking out, like, right up in here and right here. And I don't know why, because I be trying to keep my face clean and stuff like that. And every time I go outside, it seems like when the air hit my face, y'all, I get some sort of bump or something. Well, let me turn some more on. My I get some, some sort of bump. Like on my face, and I'm like, did something just bite me or what? <laughs> Child. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm finna say what the world going on with that. But yes, honey. I know good and so well, y'all. I don't be feeling like nothing then bit me in my face. It's just like a bump just appear all of a sudden, like in my skin. And I'll be like, okay, maybe my face too clean <laughs> and this polluted air out here is causing me to break out. I don't know. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just filling in my brows real quick. I am going to throw on my dress, y'all, that I got from, from the Goodwill the other, the other day. I'm going to put that dress on today. And, uh, I'm probably going to rock with my, uh, with my Prada bag. I'll probably do that one today. Y'all see my brows? I just feel them in right quick. I may need to sit y'all back right here. So y'all can... There we go. So how was y'all week? Did y'all have a great week? And a great weekend so far? Since um, Candy Pooh was missing in action... I was missing in action, y'all. I really wasn't on here that much. So, I just want to know how y'all week was. How y'all been? Y'all been good? I hope so. I definitely hope so. Well, 
I've been getting a lot of questions about how is my moving process going. A lot of y'all been wanting to know. A lot of y'all been asking me questions and stuff like that. So, I don't want to leave y'all in the dark or nothing like that. But, I am going to state this. By me going through a lot of warfare and a lot of things in my life, y'all. I don't know if y'all remember me talking to y'all about monitoring spirits, okay? I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. It's a lot of things that I have to put a stop to on the YouTube. Um, I'm trying to see how I need to say this because um, God spoke to me. And it's things, y'all, that I just cannot upload anymore on the YouTube. Now, once I get done doing everything that I need to do, y'all will eventually know what's going on. But it's certain things that I have to keep private. Many of y'all may understand because some of y'all have experienced what I have went through. And when you're dealing with things in the spiritual realm, it's certain things that I have to go accordingly to. Like, I can't just do things my way. I have to go according to God's will. So, it's certain things that I can speak now. It's certain things that I cannot speak. It's certain things that I can put on here. And it's certain things that I cannot put on here. So... Again, I know a lot of y'all has been asking me about how is my moving process going. Some of y'all may ask, um, when am I moving? Some of y'all be asking me questions. Um, I forget you. <laughs> I forget because I be getting so many questions. But to make a long story short, like I said, I don't want to kind of put y'all in the dark, but I just can't broadcast everything on YouTube anymore. I just can't do it like I was at first. So as far as me going into more homes, looking into more houses and stuff like that, um, <clears throat> I have to kind of like keep it private just a little bit but once I get in the place that God is going to settle me once I get you know where he wants me to be yes I will continue to um vlog that but right now God says be still because I have other plans for you continue to do what I ask of you. And I'm going to leave it at that, y'all. I'm going to leave it at that. It's just certain things that I'm trying to do on my own. And um, that's not what the Lord want me to do. And I know y'all probably... I don't know what y'all thinking, but I have to go according to God's will. I cannot live my life set upon what you guys want for me or how you guys want me to move. And I just can't. But I can tell y'all, you know, what I know. And at first, I was just going about what I was going to do. You know, I was going to do this and do that. Looking at houses and stuff. Waiting on the Lord. I'm still waiting on the Lord. But... Sometimes God will literally just like come through and he will say a quick word just like that. Just like that. And you have to listen and catch it and pay attention to what's going on. God is a God of protection, y'all. God is protecting me from something and I know he is. I know he is. And if I go according to what I want right now and not his will, I will definitely mess myself up. I will. So, 
it's a lot of confirmations that I got and it's a lot of things that I just have to obey. I just have to obey y'all. Many of you know in the Bible it does speak about obeying is better than sacrifice. And it is. You must obey the Lord that makes sacrifices for yourself to do this and to do that. Okay, I'm going to do this for myself. Instead of obeying the Lord, you will definitely be messed up. So, it's best to obey what he says versus trying to make sacrifices for your own self. Live the way that you want to live. Go according to what you want to do instead of what he wants you to do. But in my house... I am going to go according to what the Lord wants me to do because it's other things that God is speaking to me about that I cannot say. It's things that he warned me from that I cannot speak. So I just want to let y'all in and let y'all know just that part so y'all can understand where I'm coming from. So I'm going to stay, be still. I am going to still be directed by him looking at certain homes, but everything will not be on YouTube. I hope that made sense. I hope that made sense. But again, once I get to the place the Lord wants me to be, yes, y'all will be in. I'm going to let y'all in, okay? I hope y'all understood that. I, I really do hope y'all understood that. But anyway, um, I just wanted to let some of y'all know that because I do get a lot of questions on when this is going to happen, when that's going to happen, when you're going to do this, when you're going to do that, how is this going, and everything is going pretty good, though. Everything is going pretty good. By me being a child of God and by me being a true believer, and I listened to my father versus me going to do what I want to do. That's the reason why sometimes it takes time. It takes process. It takes obedience. It takes listening and going according to his will and not your own. That's something that a lot of us have to learn because if you go left when he's telling you to go right you're going to screw yourself up if you know what the lord has told you and he already spoken to you but yet you still want to do what you want to do you're going to end up somewhere you probably don't want to end up i'm just saying or it's going to be a lot of things that's happening in your life that's not working out for you. So it's best to just be still, let God be God, handle what he needs to handle, and obey and listen to his commandments and his word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's what is going on with me right now. Okay? So I just wanted to make that clear. That's probably why you guys have not got any more homes that I have looked at uh, lately because I got that message. Due to spiritual things that's going on right now, like I said, y'all, it's things that many of you may not understand spiritually, but y'all may not be right there yet. But Candy Poo is, and I have to listen. Because I will screw myself up. And there is no one else that can get me out of my mess that I enter myself in just because I was disobedient. There is nobody on YouTube, nobody in my family, nobody can get me out of nothing that I put myself in just because I was disobedient. I'm just saying. So I am going to go according to God's will. I'm going to listen and he's going to direct my path on where I need to go where I need to be, and that's just that on it, okay? I'm trying to look at this dress, y'all, to see what colors it is. I got yellow, teal, like this dark purple, and then I got this green color. I don't want to be too dramatic with my face. Y'all know how I am, y'all. I don't want to, I want to do like something natural, and I always go for like a light pink color on top of my eyelid, because I don't want to do 
nothing that's oh that's drawing so much like attention to my lid not for church child not for church i can do just a little bit of yellow not too much and then add like a tone of of gold and like tone it down since i got some yellow in this dress and i ain't doing too much y'all like i said because i'm not doing no wig reviews or nothing like that so there shouldn't be no reason why my makeup is just like so dramatic and i'm not putting on no huge long lashes or nothing like that that's only for my wig reviews okay <laughs> that's when your girl be doing all the dramatic makeup looks and i be throwing on my long like real thick lashes and stuff like that but today baby dolls no can y'all see that little makeup it ain't doing too much it's not doing too 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 much somebody asked me where i got this from i think i mentioned it though didn't i mention where i got this from y'all oh excuse me girl i'm burping and i ain't even drunk nothing but again i got this from timu they do sell these it's just like a magnetic liner let me get my lash out and it's more easier to just throw your lash on with this and once you put this on your eyelid you just throw your oh i messed something up you just throw your lid on and it should automatically just stick on just like that without hassling with all of that that lash glue that may get a little messy this here is very simple and easy to do very simple and easy to do and that's the reason why i like using this right here y'all and i have to order me another one too yes i'm gonna have to order me another one so all righty Oh, let me answer this question too. Many of you all were asking me about um, how was my uh, work life going. And it's going pretty good too, y'all. I just be tired. That's about it. I be real tired. And um, I just be want to come home and lay down and rest i just don't be want to do nothing else y'all that's why i be trying to vlog for y'all a little bit when i am out or you know headed to the store or something like that i be trying to give y'all just a little content i do but child listen I be tired, y'all. I be tired. Y'all hear me? I don't be want to do nothing at all when I get home. I just be want to take a bath and lay down. Because I done been a walk all day. I mean, yeah, we do take our little 30-minute break or whatever. We may take a quick little 10. But it seems like when you're going on your break, it's like, you right back at it because the breaks don't last long but when you working and you know you ain't finna go on no break it seems like time be going by so dang on slow girl time be going by so slow i'll be like lord jesus now if i'm on my break i'll be trying to hurry up and eat some <laughs> girl but yeah, work is good though, y'all. Work is pretty good. I just go to work, do what I gotta do, and come home. And that's what I do. Until God move me somewhere else, I will be there. Yes. 
all right so now that i got my brows done y'all threw on my lashes got a little makeup going i'm not gonna throw on my foundation just yet i am finna throw on my dress right quick and my accessories then i'm gonna do my throw on my wig and stuff like this so i'll be right back y'all i'm finna throw on my dress i'm gonna be right back all right y'all i'm back got on my dress i was trying to look into my bins to see um what wig i wanted i picked this one out I'm gonna see how this one here gonna look on me. I really wasn't trying to do nothing long though, not today. I was just gonna try to do something short. I may wanna order me a, um, I'm gonna have to order me another bob, y'all, in a different color. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Let me get my, all of my tools here. I don't even have my other stuff. Hold on, y'all. All right, I am back. Okay, let me throw on my necklace real quick, y'all. Trying to see, do I, I think I'm gonna do silver today. Um, something to sit right here on my neck let me see how this oh I got the wrong necklace I don't know where my other necklace is going on trying to figure this thing out because i'm missing some of my pieces and maybe this one right here okay I'll try to see how this this necklace here what this chain necklace looks so i am gonna do my uh first off let me see how this look on me y'all because i may not i may not rock with this yeah, I may just throw this on. It's my uh, Christian Dior. It's my Christian Dior uh, chain necklace. I may just throw this on since it's, you know, the way the dress made, this is like sitting right on my neck. So hopefully it looks, it looks decent at least. <laughs> so I had on my other necklace. Y'all see that? It's just sitting right, right there. I hope that looks right. I do. Hmm. It don't look all that to me, but once I throw my hair on this stuff, I'll go from there and see. So the wig I got today, y'all, let me show y'all. I think I showed y'all this one. This is the Fritris Eco HD Illusion Lace Frontal. So this is what I am going to put on today. And y'all, Fritris Equal, baby, they wigs ain't like ain't like they used to be, cause they really have stopped making like wigs, like a lot of different styles. Everybody now is into all tray wigs and uh what's another brand wig y'all all tray and um i'm trying to think because all the wigs that i've been wearing y'all lately is from all tray they've really been throwing out some really cute wigs and those are the ones that i've been like rocking with Unless I'm rocking with one of my braided wigs or something. The Fritrus Equal have not been throwing out many good wigs lately. And I used to watch uh, 
I used to watch that young lady. She would throw out different wigs and stuff on on wig types, but she ain't been doing that lately. I guess she decided she wanna she wanna you know take a little break. But she ain't been throwing out no wigs or nothing like that lately. Girl, this wig here is big. Y'all hear me? This is a big, a big head friendly unit, okay? So you got a big head like me, this wig here is for you. It's definitely for you. <laughs> because she is big. She's not tight at all. And she just giving a whole lot of space up under my up under my you know like my stocking cap she's giving a whole lot of space so when I put her on I gotta definitely put her on like y'all I gotta lay this down good baby because if I don't if I don't mm. not saying she gonna come off my head <laughs> but what I am saying is she's a loose one she's definitely I have to look in this mirror because I cannot see in this mirror kind of it's kind of dusty a little bit Need a, uh, I need a paper towel in here and I don't have one. Oh, I can use this paper towel right here that I had in here. I'm trying to clear this off just a little bit because I cannot see. It's kind of dim up in here. I'm trying to move my camera. I got my closet open, y'all. Sorry about that because, you know, I was looking for my weeds, child. <laughs> there we go. So y'all can see exactly what I am doing over here. Girl, you know what? This wig is so big on me. I'm going to have to pull it. I'm going to have to pull Oh, I ain't wanna have to tell me spray some water. Let's get this a little wet, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, when I tell y'all, <laughs> this wig is. Girl, I rarely wear this one because she's she's real big. Like she's very big. Let me spray some more of this because I don't know. I don't want this weed to come up and oh I one bit child. Kinda dry, I need to dry this. I need my my blow dry, that's what I need. I think this is just like way too much wig right here. I'm gonna have to cut this off, y'all. It's just too much. And I see. I'm gonna have to hit me up too. Family with these wigs, girl. Trying to get them together, baby. Something gonna have to get cut off. I'm gonna have to cut all this off. Because this is just way too much wig over here.
Oh, girl, let me ask y'all this question. Have y'all started Christmas shopping yet, babies? <laughs> Have y'all started Christmas shopping yet? Have y'all? I know it's almost about that time. It's almost about that time. And some people, y'all, some people starting real early. And I don't blame them. Especially if y'all got like little small kids. And y'all trying to get them out the way. Child, listen. I don't blame your baby dolls. I don't blame you for starting a little early. <sighs> y'all know I ain't really got to buy too much of nothing. I don't really have to buy too much of nothing at all. So, I asked my kids. I texted them the other day. And I said, what y'all want for Christmas? <laughs> Marquis said. Marquis said, I don't know yet. Jemiah, you know, she got to think about stuff. She got to think about it and then get back to me later. <laughs> and I was like, mm, okay. Well, don't y'all wait too late to tell me. Don't y'all wait too late to tell me, honeys. Ooh, all this hair on me. Jesus. Yeah, I just hate when it just be too much extra hair going on around here. I just do not like that. Have to get this together. I have to hear you because time is ticking. And I cannot be on this wig all day trying to get it together, honey. Mm. That apple pie was good, y'all. Y'all know that apple pie about last, was it last week? I bought that apple pie. Child, it was good. Girl, I tore that apple pie up. I didn't think it was going to be that good. But it was good. It sure was. So if I ever decide I want another apple pie, like the one that I have to bake myself, I'll definitely be getting that brand. Cause that was a good one. And the crust was flaky on it too. That's what made it extra, extra good. <laughs> That's what made it even, even better when I baked it. So if y'all have not tried that, babies, please try that. I know some of y'all said that y'all have tried it and it was pretty good. And it is pretty good. Yes, ma'am. But my whole dinner was good, y'all. Everything that I had cooked last week, it was pretty good. Now, that was like two weeks ago, girl, when I cooked it. It wasn't last week, because last week I was, I was with my mama last week. And I had that barbecue food. And boy, was them sandwiches good. Mm, them sandwiches were so good. But I'm going to go to Central. I think my mama told me to go to Central. It's like a barbecue place. So I'm going to go out there. And uh, I'm going to try that place. Because she was telling me I need to go there. Because they barbecue basically tastes like. 
the shoulder meat that I was eating at her little picnic thing we went to. And I wouldn't mind eating one of them sandwiches, baby. And then I think she said they got barbecue nachos and all that type of stuff. But let me tell y'all this, y'all. Me and my coworkers, we had ordered some food one day from Tops, Tops Barbecue. We ordered some, uh, we all got different stuff. I think they ordered like some turkey burgers and I didn't even know Tops sold turkey burgers. I'm just saying y'all. I did not know they sold stuff like that. I just thought they had just all barbecue food, like barbecue smoked sausages, ribs, shoulder meat, you know, barbecue sandwiches with the slaw. Um, you know, barbecue stuff. I didn't think they sold like burgers and stuff like that. I just didn't know they sold that. So, um, my coworkers, they ordered like turkey burgers, french fries. I think I had like some, some barbecue, like, uh, queso. Was it queso? I think it was like some barbecue, like shoulder meat on top of some fries with some queso cheese, like with a little bit of jalapeno. That's what I ordered. Girl, them folks got their food, baby. They bit into that sandwich, y'all. They were so mad. They were so mad. And I don't blame them for being mad. They were so mad that they meat and the inside of their meat was red when they bit into that turkey burger. Girl, they got their money. They called that place and got their money back. And they was like, Ken, did you want to get your money back? I was just like, no, I'm fine. Because my food, I must have been hungry, girl. Them fries, they wasn't like all, all that. But they were okay. You know, they were okay. But will I order that again from Tops? No, I wouldn't. My last experience, when I went to Tops Barbecue, and I think I was telling, uh, who was I telling? I think I told my cousin or something like that when I got a when I got a sandwich from them. I had got a shoulder sandwich from them, a barbecue sandwich with some slaw. Girl, I paid all that money for that little sandwich. You're getting a little sandwich. They oh they don't put a lot of meat on the bread, and then they give you like I ain't even gonna tell you how much slaw they put on there. Girl, they give you a little. It's like you're not getting your money's worth. And then when I went up to the drive through window, I seen, like, people not of our race in the back cooking. And I don't want to be racist or nothing because I know a lot of y'all, a lot of different races watch my video. And I don't want to offend nobody on here. But people of color was not in the back cooking. And that's when I realized, okay, that's, that's why my sandwich look like this. That's why I ain't got a lot of meat. I ain't got a lot of, you know, coleslaw. They got everybody that's of color on the registers, but everybody that's not of color in the back cooking the food. I think it should be a variety, y'all. I think it should be both. Both races cooking the food. I'm just saying. Because Tops Barbecue, it's not like it used to be no more. It's not. It's it's not like it used to be anymore. To me, it's. Child, I don't. I don't know. I I don't know what to tell y'all. But Candy Pooh will not go back to tops wasting her money. No, I will not. Because I know what I'm going to get, and it's not gonna be much. It's not gonna be worth at all. Worth it. I'm gonna say it. I did have uh, some of my people here in Memphis. They was telling me that um, a and R barbecue is pretty good. You get your money's worth. And they said uh, Central. Central barbecue. That's what my mom was talking about. So my next barbecue spots will be. Yes, you best to believe that. Central or a and barbecue. That's what I'll be trying i've tried corky's barbecue before but that's been some years ago that's when you have to go in a restaurant or whatever and sit down and eat their food but i buy a lot of they ribs and stuff from kroger you know because they sell that at kroger so yeah i haven't been to corky's barbecue in some years let me throw my foundation on right quick
me hurry up. Cause I'm wasting a whole lot of time. Let's see what time it is. It's 8, 8 25. So I ain't got that much time. I need to be up out of here about nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. I need to be rolling up out of here. I just hope that rain don't catch me because it is a little gloomy. Gloomy today. Let me give me a white y'all. Ooh. Man, I got hair everywhere. Make sure all this stuff is off of my face. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna rock with my Apple Watch today, y'all. I just put my my band on. I hope hope I got my band my band right. Let me see. Yeah, this watch still kind of loose on me. I would have to take some of my links my links out. Let me get my silver diamond like face cover. And I'm gonna throw this on. There we go. So I got on my Apple Watch today. I'm gonna throw on my bracelet. I'll go ahead and do my tennis bracelet today. I hope it's not real cool outside. I pray to God that it's not, y'all. Since the weather is changing up on us. Put some of this foundation on my skin right quick before I finish off this wig. I hope I don't get none of this stuff on my dress. Girl, this is not working. Where is my little go ahead and brush? I don't want too much foundation on my skin. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this on here. Is this stuff coming out? Oh, there we go. I will be um I will be supporting some of y'all later on today. I know I probably been missing a lot of y'all videos. But I will be um supporting y'all later on today once I get out of church and get myself, you know, settled. I'm gonna get on the YouTube, watch a couple of y'all videos. Candy poop be late sometimes, y'all. I do not get on YouTube every single day, y'all. I just don't, girl. I can't. I just can't get on there every day. <laughs> girl, I be having other stuff going on. But when I do get on there, I do try to watch a couple of y'all videos. I try to stay on there for a minute and try to, like, catch up on a lot of y'all videos. And, uh... You know, show some love and stuff like that to y'all. Whew. So, baby, I be, I be tired and busy. I be tired and busy. Hmm, let over there. I have to find my, uh, I'm going to throw this on too, y'all. Y'all remember me getting this from 
Girl, I'm showing this. I'm thinking this is my camera and this is my mirror. But uh, this is my butter gloss from NYK. Y'all remember me picking this up from Alta. It don't look too bad on my lip. I think I'm going to mix it with something and put a liner around it. I think I'm going to add like a little, a little gold or something like that to it. So last Sunday, y'all, was Founders Day. Last Sunday. I knew it was one of them Sundays, child. And we had a... Uh, we had a speaker last Sunday. And I know the Sunday before that, I had got my Sundays screwed up. I had got them so screwed up. So today, I'm pretty sure, Pastor, he preaching today, I'm pretty sure. Since the last Sunday, we had a, a speaker, a different speaker. Try to blend this this highlighter in. I don't be wanting my my concealer to be so light up under my eyelid, y'all. I mean, I want it to do the job, but I don't want it to be too light. All right, let me go ahead and let me um. Uh, Feeling my parting for a second right quick because sometimes no partings can be like, yeah, you can barely see, you know, when you add your foundation or whatever in that part, you can barely see the parting. So I want to make it like real noticeable. <laughs> make it noticeable, baby. Put a little bit of this over here. It's gonna be lifting up. All right, this is a real cute wig, though, y'all. This is real cute. I just, I just really wanted something short today, though. I ain't wanna wear nothing long, but this, this will do. Yeah, this will do. This will do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to make it through this weekend and this week, this whole entire week. Let me throw on my studs, y'all. Let's see. What studs I'm going to throw on today? I may just do, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some pearls. I'm just throwing these pearls today, girl. I haven't worn no uh, pearl earrings in so long. Yeah, I'm going to do these little pearls right here. These little white pearls. I haven't worn these in a very, very long time. I'm always doing like some diamonds or something like that. I'm going to throw these on. Ooh, cute. So cute. I like the texture of this hair though, y'all. It's like a yakky, like a thick yakky texture. I'm gonna let y'all see. It's real pretty. That's the reason why I bought this wig, because of the texture. I just hate silky textured wigs. When they real silky and like frizzy. This one here is a little, well, I ain't gonna say she too frizzy. But she kind of frizzed, but I got some spray for her. I'm going to spray some of this stuff on her right quick. So she won't be real. You know, they're all over the place. Y'all probably can't tell on camera though. I got some of this spray that I'm going to use right quick. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm 
all over the place, girl. Let me get myself together. Cause I got stuff everywhere and I got to straighten up, y'all. Got to straighten up just a little bit. I'm trying to wipe my desk down too. me like uh i'm gonna use this right here y'all this is like a dark brown a dark brown liner i'm gonna put it around my oh this might be too dark i don't want nothing too dark around my lips because uh that ain't gonna look right <laughs> mm. i guess that'll do Gonna do. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. Uh, let's see what I got over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of this gold right here. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of this gold. This is from uh, Wet and Wild. I think I got this from from um, Dollar General. A while back, I feel like I got a piece of hair, which I did a little piece of lint or something. I don't want to be doing too much, girl. But yeah, I got all of these lippies up in here that I didn't even know I had. This is like a dark one. Hmm, this is like a polish or something. Girl, this some lip paint. <laughs> Ooh, I know this dog. Nope, I ain't even finna do it because I'm gonna mess something up, girl. This is like a lip paint, y'all. And this is a... This is burgundy... Burgundy plum. This is like really dark. Really, really, really dark. But I'm not finna put nothing dark. I don't want nothing dark on my lips. Not today. Yeah, let's see what perfume in this bottle. I didn't know I had this in here. What is, I don't know what I put in here. I don't even know what this is, girl. This is like my traveling or you just throw it in your purse for like, you know, just a small miniature thing of perfume. It's like a perfume holder. You put whatever perfume you want in here, which I didn't spray something in here and I don't even know what this is. It smells like my coach though. This is what this smell like. Then again, girl, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is in this bottle, but it, it smells pretty good. It smells pretty good. I don't know what I wanna, what I wanna throw on for today. Let me try to, uh, I'm gonna have to lift this up. for my wigs to like let me get my thing I'm gonna put this back on I don't always want my wigs and stuff like that to be in my face you know like all the hair coming in my face sometimes I do to cover my forehead but I guess it all depends on what wig I'm rocking so yeah but this is cute though it's cute go ahead and throw my shoes on y'all Try to find me a cute little ankle bracelet. I think I'm going to go with my silver ankle bracelets this morning. I'm going to throw them on. I'm going to turn y'all this way. I have a whole lot of ankle bracelets up in here. Y'all see all these ankle bracelets? I have so many of them just in the bags. <laughs> I have so many of these, y'all. And I just choose which one I want to throw on. Let me just do this one. Throw this on. Is it almost time for me to go, girl? What time is it? It's 8.40, y'all. I'm, I'm making progress, girl. I'm making progress. I ain't got that long. But I shall be finished by time 9 o'clock come. I shall be finished. 
I just gotta throw my shoes on right quick. Get my bag. I already put my stuff in my bag last night, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the bag that I am toting today. Yes. All right, let me put some of this stuff up. Organize my life right quick. All right, y'all. I'm gonna turn y'all back around this way because y'all know I got y'all sitting on. I got y'all sitting on my little my little Q-tip Q-tip holder. <laughs> All right, Jesus. I am ready to go. Y'all, I don't know how cool it is outside. I do have these that I'm wearing today. I'm going to show y'all right quick. I'm just trying to get some of this stuff put up. Hopefully it's not too like uh cool outside. Hopefully I'm praying that it's not. I'm gonna throw on these heels. I wish I had like a um I don't know what's all this dust and stuff right here. Be right here on my uh the front part of my heels, girl. I don't like that. I'm going to have to clean these off. Because I don't like that not one bit. Not one bit. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to put these heels on. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for my strength, God. Thank you for my strength. Hallelujah. Because you are good. Mm. You are good. Who is God to y'all? Who is God to y'all? I'm going to tell you who he is to me. He's my way maker. Hallelujah. He's my protector. Mm. He is my joy. Hallelujah. He is my peace. Mm -hmm. My comforter. Thank you, Jesus. My counselor. Hallelujah. Mm. God is my everything, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. He is my everything, y'all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is my love. My peace. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. God is good all the time. God is everything in my life. He is the beginning of my life. He is my Jehovah Jireh. Mm. Hallelujah. He is my Jehovah Jireh. Thank you, Jesus. And beside him there is no other. I will put no other before him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I'm trying to lift this up, y'all. There we go. That looks so much better and clean. I'm liking, like, how natural, y'all, this is looking. This is an illusion, like, part and stuff. And the lace, girl, the lace just lays down so good. I just hate that the wig is just, like, real big on my head. I just hate that. All right, y'all, so to go ahead and show y'all my bag, I am toting my Prada today. I'm going to show y'all my whole entire outfit. 
my whole entire outfit. If it's kind of cool, I'm going to have to throw on my, uh, let me get my phone. I'm going to have to throw on my jacket if it's kind of cool. But hopefully it's not, it's not too cool out there for me. Because I really wasn't planning on wearing no jacket today. Really wasn't planning on it. See if y'all can see my outfit. All right. <laughs> let's see. Let's see, babes. I'm gonna sit y'all right here. Okay, and stuff right there. I throw my glasses on. Let y'all see my. My outfit. Can y'all see? Outfit for today. I so like this dress, y'all. This is a cute dress. That your girl paid six dollars for. That's it. Y'all, this is really cute. I like this. So cute. Yes. All right, my friends, I'm going to grab everything else I need, which is my Bible and stuff like that. I'm going to throw on my glasses. Oh, let me see what, what I'm going to rock today. I'm going to throw on my, uh, my uh, Dior today, y'all. Yeah. Because I remember telling y'all I was going to rock with Dior today. Mmm, this smells good, too. This smells so good. So, so good. I still have not went back to Alta to smell that good girl by, I think it's by Blush. No, it's by Good Girl and it's called Blush, y'all. I don't want to confuse nobody. But I need to go back and smell that because I said I was to see if I like it. Okay, let me give me a ring or something. Some sort of rings. I think, I think I'm going to rock with it. I think I'm going to rock with my, uh, oh, y'all bending, girl, bending down. <laughs> my bones ain't like they used to be. They are not like they used to be, honey bunnies. To try to find my, uh, let me try to sit y'all right here while I look. While I look. Okay, here they go. Because I'll be all over the place, child. I'm trying to see what ring I got here. I wanted to wear a ring with... Let me see. I got this one right here, y'all. They got a pearl on top of it. Because it goes with my, my earrings. So it looks like this right here. It just got a... Is my camera blurry? It got like a... Y'all see that? It's real cute. I think I'm going to rock with this one today. Ain't that cute, y'all? That's cute. I want to put another ring on this hand. I think I had this one on. I actually got two of them. I got this one here. I'm going to rock with this one. Yeah, I'm going to rock with this one too. I'm going to have to go wash my hand. My hand feel kind of like sticky from... I'm be spraying all that, all that, uh, that even spray on my lace up here. Got my hand a little sticky. All right, y'all. So listen, babes. I'm gonna get up out of here. Turn this off. So I'm gonna see y'all as soon as I get to church. Get on this road. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I'm gonna throw these on. I got so many glasses y'all so many glasses child and you know what i had just saw the glasses when i was up in one of my boxes last week i just saw all of oh excuse me i literally just saw all of them let me see um i think it's in I may just throw on these. These are my black 
my black uh, glasses right here. I may just wear these because I don't really have time. I don't have a lot of time. I think it's in there. It may just be in this box. I don't know. But you know what, y'all? A lot of them glasses that I do have, they're like more fancy type. Well, I ain't going to say fancy. Some of them I can wear to church and some of them I wouldn't wear to church because they kind of like too, I don't know. I, I don't know. But I do believe I got a lot of glasses that I can wear, like different frames that I can wear to church because I remember reviewing a couple. And I was telling y'all on my other channel like, yeah. These are screaming churchy. I can wear these to church. Girl, I got to go find them glasses. I do because they in one of them boxes and I got to go find them honey bunnies. But I guess I'll rock with these black ones today. Yeah, since it goes with my, my outfit. All right, y'all. I'm up out of here. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all when I get to church, okay? Y'all, I didn't hop on the E-way, baby. And look at the other side of the expressway. It is so much traffic over there like y'all oh my goodness gracious it is so much traffic over there i'm so glad y'all that i'm not on this side right now that i'm just you know on a smooth expressway right now i ain't in no type of traffic but coming back home baby i hope that is cleared up because it's a lot of traffic going on over here wait a minute I probably can't really tell well it's kind of like okay it is ending like right here up here but when you get all the way up there to the front baby it's a lot of traffic i don't know what didn't happen this early this morning child but it's a lot of traffic going on over there on that end and i pray to god that when i get out of the church building it's not worse i hope that whatever that's going on they didn't clear that up i pray they cleared that up or i'm gonna have to try to find my way like going a street way and i don't really want to go the street way i just want to hop back on the e-way head on home and be done with it <laughs> lord jesus whatever that's going on up there i pray everybody is all right y'all but I'm on my way. I'm going to see y'all once I get there, okay? Today, baby well I ain't too early it's 9 29 y'all right on the dots I'm so glad I got a good parking spot y'all it's a lot of people just now pulling up because church is just like literally starting y'all it's like beginning right about now so 
pulled up right on time. I pulled up right on time. Right, right on time, babies. I see everybody walking in. <laughs> she looks so cute with her outfit on. Oh, little grandmama. She's so cute. took my uh my little cord out because i was listening to my phone i was listening to my music and i just took it out and the radio got loud on y'all i'm sorry about that sorry about that y'all i hope i don't be copyrighted or nothing <laughs> Ooh. gonna get ready and go up in here y'all i'm trying to wait for a minute because i don't want to sit like on the floor because normally when you early like this and they just now letting people in, they'll sit you like on the floor and I won't be able to get like a good footage for y'all. So I'm trying to wait for, you know, a couple of minutes. So I'll be able to um, sit in the rises so I can get a, get a good view of the choir and the preacher and stuff. So I'm still waiting on a lot of people to pull up. It's a lot of people pulling up right about now, y'all. Like, girl, this whole parking lot's going to be full in the next probably five minutes. Because everybody's just, like, pulling up right about now. Oh, <sighs> hmm. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting, y'all. I love to see, like, grannies and stuff, y'all. Put on their church clothes. They just be looking so dang on cute. I used to watch my granny get ready for church some years ago, y'all. When I used to go to church with her. I used to watch her get ready for church. I used to go in her room and just watch her get ready. <laughs> or she'll have me to button up her blouse or zip up some or some child. She'll be getting ready, getting herself all cute and stuff. And I used to watch granny get ready, girl, when I was younger. I used to go to church with her. <laughs> but now, Granny be going to church with my auntie, y'all. She be going to her church. So, I know somebody asked me that question. Uh, why Granny don't go to church with me? That's because she goes to her own church. <laughs> That's why. I mean, she can come to church with me if she wants to, but Granny be going to her own church, y'all. She got her own church that she attends. So that's where she goes. And that's like out there by her where she lives. I stay all the way out here. I don't stay close to Granny. So, yeah. But, anywho, I'm finna get ready to go in this building. About to get ready and head on in there, child, right quick. Hopefully, I ain't too early. Like I said, y'all, I don't wanna be on no floor. I want to be in the rises this morning. I do. But I'm going to see y'all once I get in there, okay, y'all? Y'all enjoy the service. <laughs>
give you praise. God, we bless your name. We magnify you today. There's none like you anywhere. You are God by yourself. Have your way right now. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in this house. This is your house. This is your sanctuary. We are the sheep of your pasture. Breathe on us right now. Find the power of darkness. Find every hindering spirit. Cast it out right now in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cover this room now. Hear our cry, O oh Lord. Hear our prayer. Minister to the needs of your people. Have your way today. Lord, anoint my tongue with the lips of clay that we will speak as an oracle of thee. Grant us the tongue of the learned that we may speak a word in season to them which are weary. Let your word find its target. The things that you do in this place, we dare not take your credit, but all the praise, the glory, and the honor constantly belongs to you. Now we thank you for our healing. We thank you for our deliverance. We thank you for making a way out of nowhere. We thank you for the open door. We thank you for the promotion that we're getting ready to receive. We thank you for the new doors we're getting ready to walk through. We thank you for the abundant blessings upon the life of your servants. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to the Lord, glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, thank God. Come on, clap your hands. Thank you about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days, and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horn. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. Go back to verse two for me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. I have given, this is the Lord speaking, I have given into thine hand Jericho. I have given you Jericho. I have given you what I told you I was going to do. I have given you what I promised you. So shout the message title to your neighbor and just look at him and say, it's yours. Hallelujah, it's yours. Yes, yes. We are at our best when we put faith in God. You can never be at a better level, Ebony, until you put your faith in God. When you put your trust in God, the saint is at their best. Because the Bible tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please him. So the Lord is looking for faithful saints and then saints that have faith. Because you can be faithful, but still not have faith. You can be faithful by attending a certain worship experience. You can be faithful by going to your job but wish you wasn't there. You can be faithful in a relationship but can't wait to get out. You can be faithful and still not have faith. But God wants you to be faithful and have faith. And the devil himself knows how strong faith is. Because it is Jesus that said, when the Son of Man shall come, shall he find faith on the earth? And so the Lord knows that in these trying days, in these end times, in these very difficult, perilous, harsh, savage times in which we live, that faith will erode. 
uh, there will unfortunately be apostasy among the Lord's people denouncing their faith trying something else but you won't ever try anything that's better than God there, there's nothing on the market there's nothing that will be invented there's nothing that will be created down the line that will ever be better than God and so since God has brought you this far by faith you ought to stick with what's been blessing you all these years down through the years the Lord has been good to me and all of my life God has been good to us and so God wants to establish relationships with his people. And we see through uh, the history of scripture that God uses certain events and certain episodes and certain things to draw people into relationship with him so that they will trust God. God allows some things to happen to us for nothing else, for no other reason than for us to trust him. Because God can bring you out of anything, anytime he gets ready. But he wants to see your spirit, your attitude, while you are going through. Are you going through praising him, saying any day now? Or are you going through why me, complaining? Finding fault with everything, finding fault with everybody. Everybody is not against you. Matter of fact, let me just tell you, let me just drop this uh, in, in your spirit real quick. Folks are busy with their own lives. They don't have time for you anyway. Hallelujah. Look at your name and tell them, I love you. I don't have all time, all day for you. what he said and she said. You think people are constantly talking about you and plotting against you and trying to bring you down. People are trying to keep themselves together. We're yes, 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 living in a world now, we're trying to keep ourselves together. Because so every direction in the Jefferson that we look in, there is a problem. Soon as the right knee heals, the left knee starts hurting. It takes all of me to keep myself together. I don't have time. Hello, somebody. But God uses a variety of circumstances to draw us in, to draw us nearer. Sister Taylor, he uses circumstances to draw us in so that we will see that there is no other way but God. And so God wants to build that relationship with you. He wants you to know him. See, he already knows you, but he wants you to know him. And, and sometimes when I read that scripture in Philippians, it just jumps out at me. I've read it probably a thousand times, so have you, but it jumps out at me when Paul says, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection, in the fellowship of his service. He says, I want to know him. Now, Paul is the greatest apostle of them all. Paul is the one that was born out of due time. Paul saw some stuff that nobody else saw. Paul said, I was caught up into the third heaven and saw unspeakable things. I can't even talk about what I saw. It's mind-boggling and mind-blowing, but God let me see it. And so I wouldn't get caught up in myself. He allowed a messenger of Satan to buffet me. He gave me a thorn in the flesh so I wouldn't get cocky and get the big head because he showed me something. God said, don't get the big head when he showed you something. But the relationship that God is building is to get a foothold in your life. 
He, he wants to have a foothold. He wants you to know him. Paul said that I may know him. He already knows me. Uh, he knows my weaknesses. He knows my strengths. He knows my dislikes. He, he knows uh, my thoughts are far off before I think it. He already knows what I'm going to think before I wake up in the morning. He knows me. But Paul said that I may know him. And so all of our Christian journey, we are trying to know him. We're trying to learn him. And, and sometimes it's people that can throw you off. Uh, I hear the words of uh, Bishop Patterson so often that said, I got saved twice. I got saved from sin and from people. And it's people that throw us off so much. That you may be saved from sin, but are you saved from folks? And, and, and when you are trying to know him, Jesus, you can't allow folks to get in your view and tarnish your view. Because what you think a person is, they may not be. Smiling faces, baby, stop. You can't judge a book. Oh, you heard that. That I may know him. All of our Christian journey, we're trying to know him. We fall down and get back up. We get discouraged, but God encourages us. We get reports that, that we're not going to make it look like we're deteriorating and our strength is small. And yet God said, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. All of our journey, we're trying to know him. And, and, and when Joshua arrives on the scene, Joshua comes with the pedigree of knowing God through Moses. He saw God use Moses. He saw God strengthen Moses to become the leader of the Hebrew nation. He saw God give Moses sign after sign and miracle after miracle. And when they were trapped at the Red Sea, how the rod was raised and, and God divided the waters and the children of Israel marched through. God saw Moses, uh, Joshua saw through the leadership of Moses, how Moses was the meekest man on the face of the earth and he trusted God. And, and even though he may have had a, a speech impediment, he still trusted God. God could understand him when maybe some folks were trying to hear what he's saying. But God understood. God understands you when you don't think you're getting it out good. God understands us. He knows us better than we know ourselves. And so when we come to church, uh, we shouldn't be putting on any facade anyway. But when we come to church, this is certainly not the place to play games. When we come to church, we enter his gates with thanksgiving. And we come into his courts with praise. And we do what you're doing now, Sister Bonnie. We bless his name. And we bless his name. Why? Because God has been good to us. I wish I could take a quick survey, Judge Higgins, and find out how many people God has been good to in this audience. Some of you all online right now, you put in the hands up sign in the chat. God has been good to us. Yes, they have. Thank you, Jesus. Look at somebody say, God's been good to me. God's been good to me. Hallelujah. So God is into building relationships. He wants to get the foothold in your life. He wants to have access. Tell somebody, tell them, God wants access. God wants you to give him access. See, God is a gentleman. He's a gentleman. He will not give you access unless you 
open the door. God does not, he doesn't perform B and E. Yeah, breaking and entering. <laughs> Let me say it's a breaking and entering. God does not do B and E. He's not into that. He wants you to open the door. And, and Brother Christian, when you open the door, yeah, I see you behind your man. I see all y'all behind your man. When you open the door, God will come in. But he wants you to open the door. And when you open the door, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because when you open the door, here comes another vessel. Here comes another miracle. Here comes another outpouring. Here comes another breakthrough. Here comes another promotion. Here comes another lifting. When you open the door, watch God work in your life. God desires companionship. He wants to be a companion to you. And so Joshua was close to Moses. When Moses died and he entered the church triumphant. When he went from labor to reward. Joshua is now the leader of the nation of Israel. He had already been promised, God had already promised them years ago that I'm going to give you a land that I promised to your forefathers. And I'm going to take you into the land of promise that where you've been is your past, but where you're going is your future. I'm taking you somewhere. I know that you were beat up in Egypt, but don't dwell on it. I know you were mistreated in Egypt, but don't dwell on it. I know that they didn't do you right in Egypt. They belittled you in Egypt, but don't dwell on it. Don't allow your negative past to afflict your promising future. And so God said that I'm going to take you into a land, a place that you've never been before. But it's a land that is fertile. It's a land that groweth with uh, milk, or floweth with milk and honey. And when they Here, Joshua had to prove his leadership. He had to make sure that just like God opened up the Red Sea, he said if he did it at the Red Sea, he can do it at the Jordan. I want you to know that whatever God did before, he'll do it again. Whatever God has done for you in the past, he'll do it again. Can you just think back for a moment when you were sick unto death? But God put death on hold and said, it's not your time yet. Can you look back in the past where they tried to undermine you on the job? But instead of them getting rid of you, God got rid of them. Can you remember look like everybody was against you all at once? But you did what the psalmist said, I will lift my eyes to the hills from which cometh my help, because my help cometh from the Lord. Joshua knew that he had some help. He opened up the Jordan River, got the priests involved, said, now this is the game. They go in knowing the game plan. They go in expecting a positive result. You got to go and face your problem expecting a positive result. You can't look at how big your life is. You can't look at how big the wall is. You can't look at how many forces are against you. You got to keep going forward expecting positive results. If it's a big wall, 
the wall is coming down. If it's a giant, the giant is coming down. If I'm sick, God is going to heal me. If I'm bound, God is going to deliver me. If I'm broke, God is going to fix me. Sometimes the suffering is a sickness. Sometimes the suffering is the loss of a loved one. Sometimes the suffering is an unexpected catastrophe. Sometimes the suffering is the hurting of other nations. That, and sometimes the suffering is the crime that's going on. And Lord, when it is going to end, and we've got suffering at different levels. But he said, if you don't suffer with me, you can't reign with me. It is suffering that is the tool that God uses to take you from A to B. It is the suffering that acts as a staircase. That God says the only way you can go up, you got to do one step at a time. And then sometimes you put on your big boy pants. Sometimes you put on your big girl pants. And when I was a little boy going up the steps, I started doing one at a time, but then I started doing two at a time. You got to know when God is taking you somewhere, all you got to do is show faith, all you got to do is obey, all you got to do is praise Him on your way up. Somebody else will tell them I'm praising them on my way up. Oh my God. I'm getting there after a while. Look like God said to Joshua, I know, God, that, that you're going to take me through. Look like Joshua said that I know that, that, that what God promised, he's able to perform. Joshua said when we got to Jericho, it was so Straightly shut up. It was secure that nobody went in and nobody came out. But Joshua said, remember what the Lord said. That the Lord said, I've given into your hand Jericho. I've given this city to you. I've given this job to you. I've given this territory to you. It's already yours. You are not there physically walking on the ground. But the deed has already got your name. Or you just wish that. You are not walking on the land yet. But the land is already deeded with your name. So you might as well wipe the tears from your eyes. You might as well let the devil know what you meant for evil. God meant it for the good. And he's getting ready to do something I've never seen him do before. He's getting ready to blow my mind. And how many know God is a mind blower? He's getting ready to blow your mind. And so he says, we're getting ready to take Jericho. Help the shields, we're getting ready to take Jericho. Lean on somebody and say, we're getting ready to take our possession. Mm. That's why I have a problem with COVID-19. COVID seemed to steal our joy. COVID seemed to steal our praise. COVID made us lackadaisical. COVID seemed to take out the strength that we had believing God. But I'm here to let you know the winds may blow and the lightning may flash. But you gotta keep on praising your way through until you get to the other side. And so I'm going to the other side. Yeah, let somebody say, neighbor, I'm going to the other side. 
other side. But on the other side, there's a blessing for me. On the other side, there's a promise for me. On the other side, there is victory for me. And I just feel on this fourth Sunday in September that I need another victory. The road gets rough and the mountain gets tough and the hills are hard to climb. But I decided a long time ago Still jamming in there, baby. I'm so blessed. Mm, trouble don't last away. I'm blessed, 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 blessed. I'm blessed, blessed, blessed. Hallelujah. Trouble don't last. Yeah, this camera may be a little dark. I'm gonna switch cameras right quick. I had a good old time today, baby. Service was awesome. I so enjoyed that service, y'all. I enjoyed it. I gotta find my other camera. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That message hit right on time. Did y'all enjoy the message? Did y'all receive it? In Jesus' name. 
it hit right on time, baby. Right on time. Yes, the Lord. Let me get up out of here first, y'all. Because everybody is coming out. And I'm um, trying to wait till she get in her car. Everybody is coming out. You know, when everybody come out, baby, it's hard to get out sometimes because everybody be trying to get out at the same time. Hurry up and get up out of here before it gets too, too, too crowded. Mm. Yes, that message hit right on time. Right, right on time. Mm. Yes, indeed. I like her little dress. That's a cute little dress she got on. That's real cute. I like that. So cute, girl. Oh, it's kind of hot, y'all. It's kind of hot. What's the degrees out here? It's 79. Well, at least we're not in the 80s, child. <laughs> at least we're not in the 80s. The sun ain't out, so it ain't too, too, like, hot. But it's hot. Make sure ain't nobody coming. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Mm. I'm trying to sit y'all down now. Y'all, I'm gonna have to get my other camera and try to switch it out because, like I said, y'all, this camera here be dark sometimes, and I hate that. I hate that it be dark like that. I'm gonna go home, y'all, and do this review right quick for y'all because I do have a review that I have to throw out right quick that I just got. Um, that was like two days ago. I had got my packet, y'all. So I'm gonna throw in a review into this vlog as soon as I get to the house. Okay, so y'all just stay tuned for that. And the uh, candy poo should be home in the next maybe 20 minutes. Cause I'm a little far. Okay, so I'm gonna see y'all in a minute, babes. All right, let me enjoy my church music, <laughs> my worship and praise. Lord, I want to be used by you, by you. Hey, so my friends, I decided to come to Target because I thought about it, y'all. I got some um, collagen at the house, but I only got just enough for one more cup. And I need that collagen, y'all. And I got to have it for my bones, child, my skin, my insides. So I'm up here at Target. Plus, I still got that, um, I still got a Target gift card that I didn't use, like, all of my money on. I think my sister Tiffany, I think she, uh, I think she blessed me with that card, y'all. And I still have not used all of my money on there. I was going to go to Walmart, but I was just like, since I still got money on my car, let me just go to Target right quick and pick up me some collagen. I forgot all about me not having much collagen in my little container that I, uh, that I buy y'all. And I normally, like I said, I normally get it at Walmart, but hopefully they got some in here. And then again, child, every time I go to Walmart, I be looking for this stuff and they ain't never got none on the shelf. Like, never. It ain't nowhere to park out here either. Is they crowded? They that crowded today? Lord Jesus. Child. It looks like they is. I don't want to park over here. I may just have to. I wanted to park over there, but it's alright. It is okay. I'm just going to park right here. Ooh, these parking spots be so tiny, y'all. I just don't be wanting nobody to hit the side of my my dog on the door. Let me bag back. Oh, come on, baby. Are you finna go out so I can just go straight up? Oh, she trying to put on makeup, honey. <laughs> this lady trying to put on some makeup. I don't know if she... Just now parking up, finna get ready to get up out of here so I can move straight on up. I think I'm too close to this pole too. Let me bag back some more. 
Oh, y'all, I pray, I so pray that they got this collagen up in here for me. I know many of y'all be asking me um, when I was showing it, when I was putting it in my smoothies, y'all had asked me, what did, what was that? Like, y'all was just like, what is that? Y'all was like, what was that? What is that green stuff? And it's not green. It's like a cream powder. But my bottle is like green. Well, I think the bottle is black with a green top on it. And I know on one of my old vlogs, I was uh, mixing some of that stuff in one of my smoothies. And y'all was asking me what that was. It's my collagen that I have to... I have to drink y'all I have to put it in my smoothies like I try to do it every so often when I put it in my smoothies but I'm supposed to drink it every day because it's for my bones child it's for keeping my skin glowing and you know pretty and stuff like that collagen is very good for the body it's very good for the bones for if so if you women do not have any collagen y'all need to get y'all some whether it's in the supplement form or the powder i know i'm gonna get the powder i used to have it uh in the supplements i used to have it and i think i ordered those from off amazon y'all and i ain't got no more of those so now i'll be doing the powder version of it and, I don't, and a lot of y'all be telling me, Candy Poo, your skin glowing, girl. You are glowing, girl. That's nothing but the collagen, baby. That's nothing but that collagen. It keeps your skin pretty. And um, it keeps your bones strong and healthy. So I try to intake some of that every chance I get. And I put it in my smoothies, y'all. Every time I do a smoothie. Whew, I'm putting on my flats, girl. I'm putting on my flats. Y'all know how I get, girl, when I get to these stores. I be trying my best not to walk in no heels. Whew. Thank God I didn't forget these heels at home. I left them in the... Actually, I brought them with me this morning, y'all. Because I think I took them out in my car the last time I had them in my car. Let me make sure I got my my uh, Target car, y'all. Because I could I could have left it in my other bag. Okay, I got it. Let me see how much money I got on here. Oh, Jesus. It is hot, Lord. Ooh. Let's see. I thought it's supposed to tell me how much I got on here. Oh, okay. I see the, the amount I got on here. Okay. That's good enough. That's good enough. Oh, baby. All right, y'all. Head it up in Target. Let me put this mask on before I forget. So I walk up out of here. And don't put it on. Do I got it on the right? I think I got it on the right side. Ooh, it's hot. Jesus, it's hot, y'all. Well, I'm just going to say it's hot in this car. It's a little breeze going on out here today. But it's hot in this car. You see y'all when I get up in Target. bag right here i was walking down here and i was just like this is like really cute i love the color on here it's real pretty they got this one too the material on these bags y'all are very like soft look at this ain't this cute this is so cute girl let me get away from over here because candy food does not want to spend no money y'all know i don't need no bags girl and you know what? I don't even not know what uh, I got in my packet at home that I got to review for y'all. I don't know if it's some sneakers or a bag, but I shall see. <laughs> I'm about to walk around here and figure out where they sit in this stuff at, y'all, because I really don't know. y'all here it is right here i cannot believe they got some but they do child 
it's $24.49 but that's not bad because you're getting like a good amount of this in here so this is normally what I put into my smoothies y'all so if y'all want to grab y'all some of this get y'all some child okay <laughs> so y'all I came back over here where the bags was I just wanted to show y'all some more of they fall like bags this is really cute right here I like this this is kind of cute cute little crossbody bag they got this one here and then they also have this red like leather one right here they got some cute little fall bags so it's pretty right there yes let me go ahead and check out here and get up out of here <laughs> oh it's such a beautiful day out here y'all we just ain't got no sun baby we just ain't got no sun y'all know what i need to go over there and see if that bath and body work is open yet. Remember me showing y'all the um, bath and body work that they decided they want to move from out the mall and bring it over here. I haven't been back over there since, so I really don't know if they have opened it up yet, but I'm gonna drive over there and see. See if they uh then open up their little bath and body work spot. I'm not gonna buy nothing no way, cause I'm trying to wait until they have another sale. Once they have another sale, hopefully I'll be able to catch that sale. Even though I'm not burning no candles right now or nothing like that, y'all. I still got uh, candles that y'all didn't send me that I haven't even burnt because I just didn't want to burn them just yet because I thought I was going to get up out of here and I was going to burn them, you know, at my new place. So I packed some of my candles up. I believe I have some packed up. Yeah, but I wasn't really burning any candles right about now. I should have picked up me some Glade Puggins. Well, Airwick, that's the kind I've been using now. I should have picked them up when I was up in there. Didn't even go over there in this section, child. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. It is okay. Mm. <sighs> Let me run over here right quick to see if they didn't open up this bath and body work, y'all. I don't know if they have or do not, but I'm finna check and see. I am finna check and see. Is my lights on or off? Oh, them, that's them people lights, y'all. I don't know what what i am thinking i don't know why i feel like my lights was on her lights was gleaming on mine <laughs> okay let me run over here right quick they probably ain't open up yet y'all i don't think they is I'm trying to see if my camera set on the right settings i don't need y'all going in slow motion sometimes y'all this camera will be in slow motion and I will not be able to like redirect it to to it being normal not on this camera so I got to be careful if I be jumping to slow motion sometimes I'd be like oh. then I have to do a voiceover <laughs> alrighty 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 I'm trying to move my shoes out the way y'all they all down here in the way Okay, nope, they not open yet, y'all. Mm -mm. I don't see no lights on over there or nothing, so I don't think they're open. Maybe I can see when when they gonna open up. Or is it just dark? It's, I don't know, it's just the windows tinted or something where I can't see up in there? Hmm. Oh, y'all they not open yet or is they open is people actually going in there they is open girl yes they is it just look real dark but people are actually going in there y'all i'm gonna let y'all see y'all see that people are going up in the bath and body work so it's open do i want to go up in there today or shall i pass even if i go in there y'all i'm not gonna buy nothing because i don't need to be spending no money right about now but they are open though 
Yep, they are open. So I guess I'm gonna catch the next sale. Yes. So next time they have a sale, I'm gonna try to go in there and catch it. Um, I'm trying to see, do I wanna pick up some more candles? I said I was gonna pick up like one body spray this time because I stopped buying the body sprays all together, y'all. I just stopped buying them. I wasn't buying the lotion no more. I just stopped buying all this stuff. I was just picking up candles. But I think I'm gonna pick up like maybe one spray when I go up in there and then the rest probably will be just just candles. Yes. But anyways, y'all know that the Bath and Body Work is open. Over here, I'm just letting y'all know, okay, for those that live in this city, I'm letting y'all know that they are currently open. Alrighty. Well, anyway, y'all, I'm going to see y'all when I get to the house. Because remember, I got a review for y'all. So, I'm going to put this review into this vlog right about. Home sweet home, y'all. Y'all was wondering how I made it home this fast, baby. Y'all, it was the Lord. It was the Lord that did it for me. <laughs> All right, babes. We're going to jump into this review, y'all. So, hey, let me wrap this up, okay? Let me wrap this up. Girl. All right, my friends. We're going to jump right into it, y'all. Okay, so this video is in collaboration with Jim Kicks. Dot ru gym kicks okay they were so kind to send me out some kicks for jamiah i actually told jamiah to get on this side y'all because i've been kind of slacking with me getting kicks okay i've been slacking your girl have not got a pair of kicks in a while y'all i just been getting bags so i told jamiah to get on the site and i told her to pick out some kicks and i think she got on another site and picked out her some more so y'all may see another pair of kicks for Jemiah on another whole review. But today, Jemiah picked out her some Nike SB Dunk Low Horitos. Is it called Horito? Horitos. The J is salad. I may have to insert a picture for y'all because these kicks here, y'all, I think they went by the Mexican drink that they are selling in the Mexican stores. They may sell this drink in some more type of stores. I don't know, but I'm trying to pronounce it correctly. I think it's called Jorito. Joritos. Joritos. Because the J is silent. Joritos. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to try to insert a picture of this drink, y'all, of the name of these kicks. Now, listen. Y'all know Jamaya, she be with it with her kicks. She be getting some strange, like, type of kicks, y'all. Okay? Her kicks be off the chain. They be, like, different all the time. I do love my daughter's style, but some kicks that she get, I can't see myself rocking with those because I'm a little bit older and this that's just her style, yes. But these are her kicks, y'all, right here. These are pretty, pretty nice to me, y'all. I'm loving the colorway, the detailing of these. Now, y'all know the SB Nike Dunks always coming out with a crazy type sneaker, y'all. Y'all know they had the, um, what is that, the Ben & Jerry sneaker. They also came out with another crazy type of sneaker, y'all. Y'all know they be throwing out a lot of different ones this pretty cool and i'll be loving the detailing of how they put their sneakers together but these right here a drink though a mexican drink at that y'all check these out check these out okay so they're giving like a i'm gonna say off-white like tannish taupe like uh shoelace and then we have the orange and then we also have the green so jamai can like switch these bad boys up whichever lace that she want to rock and of course they threw some white laces in here already for her so that's a girl that's a deal of like four laces that she don't even have to go out and buy if she want to like switch the laces up like that's an a plus for me y'all okay now this whole entire sneaker y'all is made of some type of like corduroy like fabric like this right here is not suede it's not leather it's almost like a Y'all know what? I'm not even going to say corduroy because I had that all wrong. It's more like the... I don't even I know what it's called. Y'all know that... 
um burlap is it called burlap y'all it's like a burlap material like this whole like sneaker is made of that and i could be like saying it wrong y'all correct me if i am but this whole like shoe is made of that on the outside trimming okay now this part here it feels like a smooth just a little smooth like leather smooth type surface just this part here at the top and then we have it over here i mean it's it's going around the whole sneaker but the majority of the sneaker y'all is trimmed in that burlap like material right here that's pretty cool this is the outer sole we have that green and that orange y'all and then in the inside let me let y'all see the inside it has horitos y'all it has the the drink name inside of the sneaker y'all see that now by y'all looking at the symbol inside do y'all actually see like the drink that i just showed y'all like how it's like the same design in the sneaker <laughs> that is so cool right there i like that let me show y'all this paper too just in case y'all want to get some info which i will be dropping everything down below in my description box for y'all but this is just a quick ig this is their website and their whatsapp okay if y'all want to check them out or whatnot these kicks did come from um uh stock x they threw the stock x you know like symbols and stuff in this box and the box is like y'all it's a nice box it's not beat up this time <laughs> It's not beat up. But y'all let me know what y'all are thinking about these kicks though. Y'all know Jamari cannot try these on. So I can't give y'all a on feet like, you know, detailing of how they look. She will be getting these though. I probably end up sending them to her. But if not, I may just wait till she comes on her comes back home on her first break and then she'll get them then. But these are pretty cool. They also have like a little symbol right here, y'all, which I'm pretty sure that is the Horito symbol of the drink. That's probably what that is. But I'm liking these, though. I'm just loving the colorway. This is a pretty clean, nice Nike dunk, y'all. I like these. Will I rock these? Yes, indeed, I will, because they're not doing too much. I mean, they're not real dramatic. The orange and the green, that's the colors that, you know... I'm liking. I'm liking the little colorway. Then they threw that burlap like taupe color. All of these colors go together, y'all. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure Jemiah, she'll find something to wear with these, yeah, because y'all know her collection. She says her shoe collection is way better than mine. That's what she says. Do y'all think that? I think not. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know about these. I will drop down below everything y'all need to know in my description box so y'all can get full details. If I have a coupon code, I will drop that down below in my description box as well. Okay. So until then, Candy Poo finna get ready to get out of here, y'all. Okay. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me on today and joining the church service. I hope y'all got a word in today. Y'all got y'all praise in. Y'all got y'all worship in because the Lord is good to all of us. And if you have breath in your body, you better praise the Lord every chance that you get because he did not have to wake you up this morning. He did not have to start you on your way. He did not have to give you strength in your bones. Y'all hear me? God is good. He is a way maker. He is a provider in the mighty name of Jesus. He is our vindicator. Y'all, y'all better give him praise. Y'all hear me in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all give him praise, not just on Sundays, but give him praise on Mondays. Give him praise on Tuesdays. Give him praise on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, all throughout the week. Give him praise because he is worthy to be praised. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Stay prayed up and know that the Lord is with y'all. Later.